I'm sure all of you must have seen such grid lines or patterns while observing a globe or a map. What are these lines exactly? These lines help us locate places anywhere on the Earth's surface. In ancient times, people used landmarks and rudimentary maps to find out their position. This method worked well for shorter distances, but while traveling for further distances like seas or deserts, they needed something more. Travelers now required a frame of reference or coordinates to fix their position. To solve this problem, a global grid was developed incorporating the lines of latitude and longitude. These imaginary horizontal lines that run parallel to each other are called latitudes. I know from this view they appear as straight lines, but they are circles. As these lines are parallel to each other, they are also called as parallels of latitude. This latitude is called the equator. It divides the Earth into two equal halves. Each half is called a hemisphere, named the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. As you can see, the circumference of these latitudes goes on decreasing as we move from the equator towards the poles. Thus, we can say latitudes are not of the same length. Their lengths vary. Latitudes are used to check how far towards the north or south a place is from the equator. Now let's turn our attention to the other set of lines. These are called longitudes. And just like the latitudes, these are circular as well as being imaginary. But there is a small catch here. The latitudes are full circles, but longitudes are half circles. But why? Let's understand this by an example. Let us assume the longitudes are full circles. Let's call the latitudes by numbers L1, L2 and so on. We'll call the longitudes T1, T2 and so on. Now if I ask you to locate a point with coordinates L2, T5, what will be your answer? Well, if you see L2 and T5 are intersecting at two points, a unique set of coordinates will end up pointing at two locations, thereby making the coordinates not unique at all. To solve this, we divide the longitude into half circles. Let's call it T5A and T5B. Now we can locate two points separately as L2, T5A and L2, T5B. That's why longitudes are not full circles. The length of all the longitudes is the same, about half the circumference of the whole of the Earth. We know what latitudes and longitudes are and why they were conceptualized. Let's get acquainted with how these lines are named. First, let's start with the latitudes. We already know that the one in the middle is called the equator and it is located at zero degrees. As we move towards the north, the latitude number increases like 10 degrees north, 20 degrees north, all the way up to 90 degrees north at the pole. Similarly, we can do this for the Southern Hemisphere as well. Now let's move on to the longitudes. You must be searching for an equator-like line for the longitudes as well, right? Well, in the case of longitude, it's a bit difficult to find an equator-like line which cuts the globe in equal halves. Why is that so? Because every pair of longitude cuts the globe in equal halves. To solve this, people decided to choose a specific longitude as the zero degree longitude. The value of the rest of the longitudes were to be decided according to that zero degree longitude. On 1st October 1884, 
the United States hosted the International Meridian Conference in Washington. Representatives of 25 countries attended and one of the aims was to fix a longitude like the equator for latitudes. After considerable argument, the longitude at Greenwich, London was chosen as a central line and was given a special name. The prime meridian, that is the zero degree longitude. There were a couple of reasons for electing the Greenwich longitude. Firstly, most of the ships involved in sea trade at that time were already using Greenwich as a reference point. The second reason was that the Americans started using the Greenwich Meridian as their reference meridian to fix their national time zone system. Therefore, a large part of the world was already using that system. Hence, they just decided to make it official. Thus, from the prime meridian, we count different longitudes eastwards as well as westwards. The prime meridian is the reference meridian. It's a zero meridian located at zero degrees. On the east of prime meridian, the value of the longitude increases as 10 degrees east, 20 degrees east, all the way up to 180 degrees. Similarly, on the west, it goes up to 180 degrees. Zero to 180 degrees to the east of the prime meridian and zero to 180 to the west of the prime meridian. Thus, making a total of 360 degrees. This 180 degrees longitude does not have an east or west as a suffix. It is known as anti-meridian. The part of the earth that is on the eastern side of the prime meridian and on the western side of the anti-meridian is called the eastern hemisphere and the part on the western side of the prime meridian and on the eastern side of the anti-meridian is called the western hemisphere. Now let's see how the latitudes and longitudes are used to locate places. A place is located where both the lines intersect. For example, the location of a place is written as 20 degree north, 78 degree east. This place is located at the point where the 20 degree north latitude coincides with the 78 degree east longitude. The value of the latitude is always written first. We have the latitudes from 0 to 90 degrees in the Northern Hemisphere and the same in the case of the Southern Hemisphere as well. Similarly, we have longitudes from 0 to 180 in the East and same in the West. As you can see, there is some space between two consecutive latitudes and longitudes. What if a point lies in between them? How do we locate such points? To solve this problem, the latitudes and longitudes are divided further. One degree of latitude or longitude is further divided into 60 divisions. Each division is called a minute and each minute is further divided into 60 more divisions. Each division is called a second. The coordinates are written as something like this, which is read as 28 degrees. 38 minutes and 41 seconds north. And something which is written like this is read as 77 degrees, 13 minutes and 19 seconds east. <laughs>